Hello my followers to the world of summon game. This is your guide, Cork Breaker. Masterclass with Core Breaker. And back to my lovely Austria with my beloved Gruner Vedlina. First of all, let me introduce you to a new wine house from Kamtal called Weingut Hirsch. Family owned winery established as the winery in 1970s, but ownership of the farmstead dates back to the 1878. So decision to go all in to the grape growing took almost 100 years. And that was not the first drastical and brave change in their history. 1979, they decided to go with natural fertilizers from their neighbor who makes cheese from goats and buffaloes. 1999, Johannes Hirsch believed that their land and overall Kamtal is best suited for Riesling and Grüne Vertlina. That's why that was the last vintage of red wine in their estate. 2002, another brave move to completely switch from cork to screw caps. Today we agree that it is a perfect choice if you want to avoid damaged cork wines and to keep it as fresh as the first day but 20 years ago it was as crazy as investing in bitcoin 2006 they switched to biodynamic with the culture but uh, that was not so radical or drastical because as i said before they already used goat poop for almost 30 years finally he has 31 hectare vineyard and some sites such as renner group lam geisberg and Heiligenstein are the best plots to go grapes in the Kamtal region. After a short introduction, I would like to present stars of the night. On one side, Red Geisberg Grüne Weltlina 2019, and on the other side, Red Lam Grüne Weltlina 2019. Geisberg area extends eastwards from the Heiligenstein mountain. It has a clear southern aspect and average 11% gradient. Area is divided to the lower and upper parts. Lower lying areas has highly calcareous soils and upper slopes mainly filled with gnates. While uh, Lam is situated on the southeastern slope of Heiligenstein mountain and is one of the warmest sites in the region. Lower part of the area consists of calcareous and loam and upper has siltstones and sandstones. Making techniques for both wines are the same. Harvest at the end of September, fermentation and maturation in stainless steel and large oak barrels and after resting in the bottle released in September 2020. One crucial difference is as you remember Lam is one of the warmest places so no surprise that it has 13.5% of alcohol while Geisberg has 30%. After this intro let's do the tasting. Starting with the Geisberg it has a intense straw color nose has a medium plus intensity aromas of lemon, beer, yellow plums, mango, white flowers, whipped cream, and freshly baked pie. Mouth has high acidity, medium alcohol, and is dry. On the palate, beer pie. <laughs> and lamb has the same intense straw color. Nose has medium plus intensity aromas of lemon, lime, mint, orange peel, peas, white pepper, and vanilla. Mouth has high acidity, medium plus alcohol, and is dry. On the palate, fresh fruit and vegetable salad. Conclusions! First of all, I am not even slightly surprised that James Suckling gave both wines 98 points. Both are very complex with a wide palette of aromas and both have lots of potential but together can be consumed now. But in the same way both are very different and for me Geisberg seemed uh, more on the fruit side and lamb reminded more of the classical vegetable side. Let me know in the comments if you ever tried wines from Bingwood Hitch. Don't forget to leave a like and follow. Prost!